What should you do after an ectopic pregnancy? I'm Dr. Natalie Crawford, a board certified fertility doctor answering your fertility questions. An ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy outside the uterus. So an ectopic pregnancy occurs inside the fallopian tube most of the time. Now this can be one of the rare surgical emergencies that we have in the field. This can happen if the tube bursts or ruptures and you have intra-abdominal bleeding and you know when this happens, severe pain, you might feel lightheaded and you go to the hospital immediately. But if we catch it early, there's two main treatments that we can do. Number one is going to be surgery. So most of the time removing the tube, sometimes opening the tube and removing the pregnancy. And the other option is a chemotherapy called methotrexate. Now a methotrexate is a medicine that is a folic acid antagonist, meaning it stops folic acid, which is important because if you can't uptake folic acid into the cells, cells can't divide. So essentially it stops cell division. Methotrexate, you have to follow some hormone levels to make sure that is working. And you have to make sure that your HCG gets all the way down to zero. Once that does, you're still not out of the blue with methotrexate because you've got to let it wash out of your body. Since folic acid is so important in growing a baby and growing dividing cells, you need to wait three months from your injection before you can get pregnant again. After surgery, for the most part, your recovery should be pretty straightforward. After either of these, if you're trying to get pregnant again without IVF, I recommend an HSG or a test for your fallopian tubes.